you know, because you know it's like um, uh, you know, that, that famous phrase uh, uh, by the Christian pastor in uh, after Nazi Germany. First they came for the Jews, and I was not a Jew, so I did nothing. Then they came for the trade unionists. I was not a trade unionist, so I did nothing. Then I, they came for the communists. I was not a communist, so I did nothing. You know, this is about all of us. It's not about um, one group of people, one income bracket, one race, one religion. These are all f fault lines for uh, engineered divide and rule. The target is all of us. So all of us need to come together, uh, put, our, put our hands together, put our minds together, and, and say here and no further. When we stop cooperating with the system, the system cannot operate. They cannot operate the system without our, our acquiescence. We must stop acquiescing, and we must do it now. Human race, get off your knees. We have been there for long enough. No more. Well, the human race is getting up off its knees, and that's why the system is howling uh, with anger. Um, let's get into the police state and the minutes we've got left, David, and I want to hold you five over if you can do it. Okay. Uh, but, uh, the, the, I mean, the police state, it's even shocking me how fast they're moving. We have now discovered just today, this is unbelievably important news, that all over the country, not just New York, but Illinois, you name it, the military, Marines, Army, National Guard are arresting citizens nationwide with police. And this has been going on for several years, and I wasn't even aware. Now they're putting it out on TV like it's a good thing. I mean, again, I didn't even know the magnitude, David. This is incredible. Yeah, and it's what I call over the years the, the totalitarian tiptoe, um, where you're, you're at A and you know you're going to Z, but if you go in too big a leap, then people um, look up and say, what's going on? Because um, the change in your, in your, your society is, is, is so blatantly obvious. So they do it in, in, in steps. But of course, the nearer they get to the goal, the steps get quicker and quicker because it's a simple equation. The more you centralize power, the more power you then have to centralize even quicker. And that's, that's why the, the, the um, momentum of centralization and dictatorship gets faster and faster because the more power you have, the quicker you can push it on. The more power you have, the quicker you can push it on. And with, this is why we've reached the point now where they've centralized so much power in so many areas of our lives that they can now push this, this whole agenda on across a great spectrum of subjects and areas of our of And they use every new crisis as a way to say no media, no local officials, uh, no one's allowed. You know, you're not getting your checks for the fishing we've shut down. Uh, you know, you're not allowed to have a gun. You're not allowed to protect yourself. And we're like, where's the law? And they said, we don't need any stinking law. Yeah, what, what they've done in, in a series of steps getting faster and faster is, is take away the checks and balances, the checks and balances, the checks and balances. They did it most blatantly with uh, the checks and balances they took away to stop the uh, free-for-all in the financial um, markets, the financial industry, and look, look what, what that led to. And every single time one of these checks and balances has been uh, suggested to be taken away, every time the, the people that could have stood up to that and thought, well, you know, I'm not either can't be bothered or this, I have no power to do that, what can I do, then they have played a part in where we've reached now. So can we learn from that, please, and say, okay, we've made mistakes in the past when we didn't stand up to what we should have stood up to, and so we better learn from those mistakes now and start standing up here. Because if we don't, then it's going to be a lot more difficult down the road. David Ike is our guest. We're going to do five more minutes with him, and then Sheriff Richard Max coming on, and I've got a few other key quick questions for David, but the time with him has sure gone fast. Uh, the uh, new book uh, is, of course, available at uh, davidknight.com. Our books, videos, materials are all available at infowars.com. And supporting uh, the type of work we're doing is so vital. You don't need to be told that, do you? And I was, during the break, I said, well, what do you think is most important to finish off with? And he said, Albert Pike's letter. And I've read uh, his uh, book, Morals and Dogma. Uh, of course, uh, this letter is reported to be at the uh, British Naval Museum. He was a Confederate general, the founder of the Klan, a uh, British agent trying to break up the U.S. with the Civil War. And all of that's been confirmed. Uh, but this letter is just amazing, the way it predicted everything they've done. So go over some of that letter, the three phases in the last five minutes, David. Go ahead. Well, Albert Pike.
Black, who of course was a, uh, a massive, massive uh, Freemason, a very, uh, uh, an absolute uh, uh, Freemasonic god. And of course, his um, his statue is uh, in Washington D.C., right next to Washington uh, D.C. Uh, police headquarters, which is uh, quite appropriate, I would say. We're dealing with Freemasonry, and it's alleged that he wrote this letter to a guy called Mazzini, a very infamous Illuminati uh, operative, um, and uh, he predicted in this letter three world wars that were coming. It, it was uh, alleged to have been sent in uh, or written in 1871. And the First World War, he talks about uh, the overthrow of the Tsars in Russia and, and, and uh, making uh, the country a fortress of atheist uh, commun uh, communism, etc. He talks about bringing uh, the uh, British and Germanic, Germanic empires uh, into the war. Uh, the, the Second World War uh, must be fermented by taking advantage of the differences between the facet fascists and the political Zionists. And he talks about um, uh, things that happened then. But the point, the point that um, it leads to is the Third World War, which really, um, I mean, I've been saying for years that's the, that's the, that's the plan, which, which it is. And um, the, the description in, in the letter of the Third World War is absolutely describing the, the period we're going through now. He says this, the Third World War must be fermented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agenteur, agenteur of the Illuminati between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam, the Muslim Arabic world, and political Zionism, the state of Israel, mutually destroy each other. Meanwhile, the other nations, once more divided on this issue, will be constrained to fight to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual, and economic exhaustion. We shall unleash the nihilists and atheists. We shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm, which in all its horror will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism, origin of savagery, and of the most bloody turmoil. Then everywhere the citizens, obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries, will exterminate those destroyers of civilization and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity, whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction, anxious for an ideal but without knowing where to render its adoration will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer brought finally out into the public view. This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism both conquered and exterminated at the same time. And he talks about the fact that they're going to make, uh, in effect, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the global society so full of turmoil, so full of upheaval that the people will turn to the, the, the few, the, the cabal, and say, save us from it, and the cabal will then um, say, well, um, to do that, we must do this. And, then and we know in 1919, these are confirmed, Lord Milner repeated it about creating a Germanic super state to start a new war, and we know they used yeah. World War One for the League of Nations. We have the Carnegie documents about World War II being engineered. I yeah. mean, I mean, this is real. Yeah, I mean, Milner was the uh, the head of a, a, a secret society in London called the Round Table, which spawned the Trilateral Commission and the, uh, the Council of Foreign Relations, the Royal Institute of International Affairs. Uh, it, it spawned, of course, uh, the, the Club of Rome, the Bilderberg Group, eventually. And, uh, and David, it, it, we're it, almost it, out of time. It, Do you agree? Front, House of Rothschild is, is at the absolute center of this um, in, 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 in the human world, if you like. And, and David, we're almost out of time. You've agreed to come back on sooner rather than yeah. later. I'd like to get you on the next month because a quickening is happening. But do you agree briefly, we are on the cusp of what could be World War III. They are pushing us in that direction. Oh, exactly. That's, that's always been that's always been the plan. Three world wars to change the world um, to, to a global fascist dictatorship. We do not have to play their game. It's time to say no, no more. David, amazing. I look forward to speaking to you in the near future. Let me say bye to you during this break. Sheriff Richard Mack with solutions on taking back our county. Straight ahead. Stay with us.